So today I'm going to teach you guys how to download transitions and also how to use them. So the transitions I use is actually from Film Crux and shout out to them because they offer free stuff uh, for their customers. So just go over to filmcrux.com, head over to the free stuff. Once you come to the free stuff page, you have a, a lot of options to choose from, whether you prefer glitch transitions, uh, normal transitions, or whether you need uh, LUTs for your uh, video. I have pretty much all these downloaded. Brams, which are sound effects. The whoosh transition sound effects are really uh, impactful. Uh, today we're just gonna get started and we can choose any one that we want. So let's just go with the, the transitions pack volume one. All you have to do is enter your email and then they will let you download the button right here and click it. And then once you download it, you're just going to go back to your Adobe Premiere Pro and you are going to go over to your presets up in the top right or wherever yours is located. And you can just right click and you're just going to import your presets and then just go over your, to your downloads wherever you just downloaded those folders, uh, upload them. And then you can see right here, I already have the glitch transitions and the volume one and volume two from Film Crux. So let's go ahead and see how we actually use these. How do we put them in our timeline? So right here, I have an example. Um, number one, first you're gonna want to uh, make sure that you have a new item adjustment layer. So you're just gonna pull that adjustment layer over here. What's cool about Film Crux is that they give you the specific instructions on them. So if I want to use this one that is my favorite, I would just go over to the Film Crux Volume 2 and it's the gradual in and out. And it says that it's uh, starting 18 frames before the cut. Before the cut is just where the, the clips meet. So I have my cursor right here on the cut. All I have to do is click 18 times to the left. Okay, I'm 18 to the left before the cut. And I'll just drag it to where that marker is. Drag the preset over and you can see on this left in the effects controls that it is now on that adjustment layer and I don't need any rendering for this specific transition so you can kind of see how it goes. But in the future, you can also, I have another one right here which is a magnify so it goes in and it goes out and then I also add sound effects with them too. So the whoosh sound effects that I also got from Film Crux, you can apply those and see how it looks. But that is how you import transitions and also how you use them on your timeline. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you guys have any questions or uh, specific videos that you want me to make. Happy editing.